Hello and welcome back to the Oklahoma City Warrior Week Call of Duty 1v1 Gunfight Tournament. I am Paul Fon, joined once again by my good friend, Johnny Weaver. What is up, everybody? Like I said, this is going to be a, an amazing event. Last time we had 139 members, Paul. This time we have 133. So we're going to see some sweatiness going sweaty around here, boss. Yeah, and so just a want to quickly quick shout out to the people who are actually running this thing, the United Service Organization, the USO. They're a private nonprofit organization that works to strengthen America's military service members by keeping them connected to family, home, and country. Um, as a military charity of choice, the USO encourages all military supporters to be a force behind the force, a strong network that stands behind our armed forces. In an effort to shrink the military-civilian divide and to support the organization's mission to strengthen through connection, the USO gaming program continues to have tremendous impact on the morale and resiliency of our men and women in uniform. Well, we like said we are going to get in the action. It looks like we got some P90s coming out of the rip with Monster Truck and Gnarly Duck. This uh, is, I remember Gnarly Duck. I remember him from last time, Paul. Yeah, Gnarly Duck's a familiar face for sure. P90 is an interesting weapon here. Going to be seeing some close quarters combat. Actually, Monster Truck looking like he wants to opt to hang out kind of here in the backside of the spawn. Mounting up actually on this cover. Wait for Gnarly Duck to make the first move. Yeah, he's just hanging out like said, dude. He's, he doesn't know where his opponent's at, so he's like, eh, I'm not going to take the chance because... It's just like football. You gotta wait to get that first hit or in this thing, the first kill. After that, all the nerves are broken down, and then after that, everybody just collides. But here comes that final stick down, Paul. They, they oh, might get a flag push, who knows? Manages to get that yeah. splash running down, so he knows the location of Monster Truck. We'll see if he manages to finish him off here. But no, actually, the, the slow and steady wins the race here <laughs> in this round. Gnarly Duck coming up strong with the first in this round. Dude, I mean, yeah, Monster honestly just likes to pop up some tents, got some s'mores, and like I said, just had himself a time back there waiting for his opponent to come through. So we'll see if he pushes out, or again, if he's going to play the, I wouldn't say camper route, but he's hanging out basically at home. There is kind of a lot of a clash of styles in 1v1 gunfight. You'll see people who play very similar to Monster Truck while they're playing the super calculated approach, moving from cover to cover and waiting for the opponent to peek them. And you've got people like Gnarly Duck who like to go wild and just make these crazy pushes. So we'll see uh, between the clash of two styles here which one works out in this gunfight. Yeah, like I said, just a while ago, you see Gnarly Duck try to go up top over that van. I don't know if he just ate too many Krispy Kreme donuts, but he could not get up there. But his opponent, Monster Truck, is in the same position, Paul. He's just waiting it out, man. Yep, no grenades being thrown out yet, so another player really willing to waste away the utility. Looks like Gnarly Duck kind of has a pretty good idea that he might be hanging out in the same place, looking to cook this rag grenade up and toss it on over. Here comes that flag. Oh, beautiful hit, but he doesn't know where his opponent's at, but he can honestly, honestly hold this with the health. And it looks like he will possibly win this. Here comes the opponent. Oh, oh, using the footsteps to cover very cleverly. They'll be early duck taking him down there. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's the great thing, though, about like, the call duty manage. You just hear the trot, trot, trot like a horse coming through. And it's like, all right. I don't know where you're at now. Yeah. Playing to his advantages there. He knew he had the grenade, so he knew he was going to have the health advantage in that round. Able to then just wait it on out. Knew that uh, Monster would have to make that approach to the flag. Right now, and Gnarly Duck right now is up on three. Oh, here comes the pistol shots. Ooh. Oh, super aggressive here, popping in there, getting two quick shots on. We're gonna have a good health advantage here. Let's see what we can do with that. See, when it comes to 1v1s, too, I like said, a lot of hit players try to sit back and then they try to watch the highs and lows. I myself like to go underneath because if you run, you can actually slide underneath there and keep bobbing up and down. You can get to that opposite side a lot quicker than you can normal running. Yeah, you saw Gnarly Duck there using that cover pretty cleverly, throwing up the smoke as a quick distraction and running through it, and then able to get those last couple shots as uh, Monster Truck made that push into him. Yeah, he had, he had some good BBs there with that, uh, like, that pistol action going on. I'm wanting to see, though, what Monster Truck can do here, because he needs to he needs to figure something out. He is down 1-4 in this map one, which is still fine since the best. Woo! Quick action! He played a lot more proactively here. Oh! Gnarly oh. Duck does come out. <laughs> well, next, but Gnarly Duck doesn't even need it. He'll take him out, taking this series to 5-1 so far. Yep. Like, I, like we were talking about a while ago, if 
Truck does unfortunately lose this. He still has two more chances to try to win this entire round series to push on because the great thing about these is it's all the same map, but it is two out of three wins on these maps. Ooh, what do we have here? Is this, a, is this an M13 we see lined up? Yeah, you'll always like to see some ARs. It gives a... Maybe he's something the advantage that Monster Truck's looking for this way so far back. And yes, exactly that. He runs behind Discover, scopes on him in a good position, holds that angle, and just takes it. Yeah, and look right now too that maybe Gnarly Duck was like, man, I'm up five one. I can I could risk the biscuit and rush in there. Now he's probably like, whoops, that was possibly a bad idea. I mean, under match point, gonna need a couple more rounds if he wants to try and clutch out this first round for himself. Monster Truck oh. looking playing this M13 fairly well so far, so we'll see what he can do. Look at his opponent. His opponent's doing like I mentioned. He's underneath right now. Just he's duck walking in. Gnarly Duck is literally duck walking underneath the bottom. He's right near the flag. Finally pushing through. If you watch that radar on your back left, so you can see where both opponents are at. And Monster Truck is just like, dude, did he do any me? And as you can see, Duck is just hanging out. Yeah, making a really interesting approach here. Kind of the first time that we've seen this of this uh, matchup so far. So, any Monster Truck not expecting what uh, or his location here. Looks like he threw away some of his utility, so he's going to be down a grenade on Gnarly Duck. See how that affects this, this flag as it comes up. You might see a quick death if uh, Gnarly Duck kept this fated. He does keep up top. Oh! oh. Leaving oh, cover to pick the grenade is always super risky, and he gets taken out for it. Yeah, yeah no, sometimes that grenade is a blessing and a curse to see coming out your face like that, because if you don't kill that guy, it's not going to be pretty when, you're, when your health is down. I said with it. himself alive so far, we'll see how he fares on the more quick or on the more fast paced and close at, close quarters combat with his pistols. So. Yeah, we got some Renettis and some shotties here, and they gotta be careful with that Renetti. It does have the laser on, and if it is the red one, that will show off where that grenade's coming to no hit. Oh, oh he just got okay. rid of behind him. He's <laughs> almost him on the radar there, and he just takes it out with the shotgun, making this one a quick. I bet he was going to try to assassinate him, Paul, if he, you know, unfortunately wasn't able to get up there, but he's seen his opponent turn. But Gnarly Duck will take this first rodeo 6-3. We are going to be loading into another game to keep this bad boy rolling for all the view content. We're starting off with an AK on here with a 2-0.